Now, didn't you send your pictures to Shishi LaRue? I and did. She she was like, I don't have a place for you in straight porn because he was directing for Vivid. Right. And you but, had to you had to live in L.A. and I didn't live in L.A. And so right. he was like, but if you want to do a, a, a gay porno, here you go. And none of that. We're going to pay you twenty five hundred and uh, we're going to fly you pay for you to fly to San Francisco and pay for your hotel. Meanwhile, I was making two thousand every two weeks teaching. And I was like, 2,500. Yeah. I was like, I'd do whatever because <laughs> I was young and broke. And then, of course, when you do, you know, the funny thing about, I think, probably 99% of guys that do their first gay porno, they're like, who's going to know? <laughs> <laughs> right. And meanwhile, everyone's going to know. All right. Meanwhile, everyone's going to know. So I did one. He loved me. And, uh, you know, I had been... I had been with trans girls before that. I'd never been with a guy. I had just done trans girls. So, which is, you know, similar, but not the same thing. Right. And so he was like, we'll give you some, some trans porn to watch, to get hard. It will be no problem. <laughs> and he did. And he made it so easy. Uh, my first scene that, uh, I mean, he made it so easy. It was ridiculously easy. And so there you go. So it's it's funny because I do hear so often from guys who want to be in porn that like there's this there's this belief that you have to do gay porn in order to be able to transition to straight porn. Um, well, it's the have easier you heard path. Other people say that. Yeah, of course. Well, it's the easier path. I mean, clearly because uh, nobody in straight porn's looking for dudes, and everyone in gay porn's looking for dudes. So it mm -hmm. makes sense that a lot of the guys, and again. What's funny is, I don't know if you've ever produced gay porn. Mm -mm. Have you? No. Okay. I feel like I would be, like, really good at it, though. So, it's actually, uh, uh, you know, the one thing is, uh, those guys, a lot of those guys, very, 90% of the guys that do gay porn don't identify as gay. And so, there's a lot of... Uh, you know, I got to look at my phone to get hard and I need a magazine and I got to call my girlfriend or do whatever. So there's a lot of that. So I think, I think it's just makes sense that a lot of gay porn guys go to straight porn because that's their, the easiest way in. See, that's so interesting because, you know, I'm not a guy obviously, but sure. I've talked to plenty of men who identify as straight and all of them have said that they could never do gay porn because they couldn't get hard, um, because they're not attracted to men. It's absolutely impossible. And anybody who does gay porn must have like some closeted gay fetish or something. What do well, you, first, how do you first respond of all, to that? I think even the straight, first of all, I mean, listen, the, First of all, you deal with a different different crowd of male performers. When you you know you're dealing with a select few that come that I'm talking about you specifically specifically because your browsers, yeah. the guys. I mean, I, Scott Nails, uh, Johnny Sins, Charles Derrick, Kieran Lee. Those guys don't have to go anywhere near gay porn. Those guys don't have to do any anything outside of exactly what they do. They're in a different a different industry than the rest of mm -hmm. us. Let's just let's just say that. So. So I, I think, um, uh, first of all, if you if you don't have money to pay rent, that's a big motivator. Mm -hmm. um, especially for most of the guys that do gay porn, you don't have to be gay or straight, but you do have to be basically completely broke to do your first scene for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, uh, producing it, that that's what I learned. And so, and, and second, like I said, so my first scene, I'd never been with a guy before. And I was like, I don't know if I could do it. I mean, Shishi Lou goes, we're going to make it real easy. I, I, I walked into a locker room. I strip naked. I get in the shower. They film me showering. They film me taking my clothes off. When I get done, uh, uh, basically, I just have to stand there while this guy blows me. Then I'm laying on my back. I'm not even looking at the guy. And the guy's blowing me and just riding up and down and then I'm just jerking off all over myself. It's over. There really mm -hmm. wasn't a lot of like, I didn't really, it was basically just like a, 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 a doll. You know what I mean? One of those yeah. real dolls, you know? So yeah. the, 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 the directors, the gay porn are going to make it easy for you at first. And so I think what you said could be true, but, and, and also additionally to be a male performer, even in straight porn, you have to be like a little, 
kinky or, Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't have to tell you about the, you know, you know, I mean, come on, even the straight guys have some really random kinks, no? Uh, you know, I mean, I probably, you know, I don't really, that's, yeah, that's true. I mean, (laughs) well, okay. Yes, that's true. I mean, to be fair, like rubbing your stomach in a circle. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, yes, you know. yes, yes. Okay. I do, I do okay. and I don't, but like, you know, I mean, I don't really spend a lot of time with most male performers, like outside of like the 10 hours that I spend with them on set. I don't sure. date them. I don't. Sure. But you, hold on. Them, but you like, hire the same guys. So you get to be, you get to yeah. know these guys pretty well yeah, and yeah. what they're, what they're into and what they're not. Right. I think that like a lot of them probably don't reveal like their deepest darkest kinks to me no but i think when they have to have an orgasm sometimes you have to get to a place where your kink gets revealed because that helps you have an orgasm you know the most interesting thing where i discovered that was when i was shooting for playgirl and i had to shoot guys by themselves and they had to get hard and i was the only woman on set can i that was a finger in the butthole that sort of thing can you like just show me your tits there was one guy who had a foot fetish and he was like if you just do the whole shoot barefoot i'll be able to manage it and i was like okay and then he was like if i can give you a foot massage in the middle of the day then like i'll be able to yeah, I was like, sure. And, and let's not forget, Holly, that in the last year or two, we've seen uh, people that the small hands and Xander, two guys who were 100% straight forever, and now suddenly they go, oh, by the way, I like trans girls. I mean, that just couldn't mm-hmm. have popped up out of fucking nowhere. I was, it couldn't yeah. have popped up out of nowhere. You so can I, swear it's fine. I think even the straightest of guys, uh, if they really, you know, I mean... It, if they aren't kinky, they've definitely thought about being kinky and porno sometimes is a way to get those out. And get yeah, paid for, for it. sure. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, you know, you're amongst friends, like nobody's, well, I wouldn't say nobody's going to shame you actually. So I'm glad you brought that up No, they're because <laughs> I was just going to say, I, so how do you feel about that? Because Christian, I'm sure that you remember when we used to shoot oh, you. Don't get me started, Holly. Don't get me started. Now you see, now I brought it up, but it's just like, listen, uh, Xander, nice guy. I remember when he was brand new, he was living out of a suitcase. I shot him for Naughty America. I used to give him this big spiel about saving money that he never listened to when he was like young. And, you know, he's a good guy, always a nice kid. But for him to now just be like, you know, I don't know, it's the new era and trans pride and trans girls. And we should do, I just was like, where the fuck were you for 10 years? Like, I didn't see you. Meanwhile, you know, it's like I was. I was on the front lines in like 2006 and everyone was saying, you, you, you got AIDS, you're gay, you're going to give me AIDS, you're no good, you're gross, you're disgusting. Oh, I can't do a scene with you. Your test is no good. It's two days old. Sorry, no good. You're going to give me AIDS. I mean, for, for him for him to now suddenly be like, I'm carrying the, the male performer kink banner is hilarious. There you go. Sorry, that's my rant. So for those of you guys who don't, understand why Christian is upset. Christian has been working with trans performers for a very long time and you Since never tried and you never tried to hide it. No. And you it it caused problems for you in your career. I mean, I remember when we used to shoot you, sometimes I mean, kind of Agents, often girls girls would make us cancel you because they found out that you did trans porn, you had did gay porn and we'd have to replace you, which Christian, can I just tell you honestly now, like it was very, it was heartbreaking for us because we loved you. We loved working with you. Uh, It's just funny to me to see that. And now those same girls are just doing like, they're doing trans, they're doing scenes with trans girls for evil angel and Joe and all these, you know what I mean? It's just like, and you know, there's just so many, Oh no, sorry, I can't work with you. And then you see them like, you know, sucking, trans cock on camera and it's just like what yeah it's it's very annoying and i understand progress and uh but yeah east coast talent all the agents too oh sorry no sorry i can't make her work with you what are you talking about it's just yeah yeah sorry no it's okay i just i mean i i i remember like when we first started seeing that change in the industry that you know trans performers were getting more visibility and you were seeing more and more people, 
you know, work with trans performers. I honestly thought to myself, I'm like, God, I wonder what Christian thinks about this. Well, you know, first of all, mentally, mentally, it was so terrible for my mental health to be completely Mm -hmm. honest, because being, being, um, being, uh, uh, called, uh, dangerous to people's health day after day by agents, girls, boyfriends, producers, directors, you know what I mean? Like it just gets so old and it just got so terrible. That's why another reason why owning my own sites has been so, so much better, not only financially, but mentally now, no one, now I can tell anyone I want to fuck off. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to yeah. worry about working for anybody, anybody working. You don't want to work with me? Great. Fuck off. Do you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. that's why it's been so much better because, uh, man, it was rough. It was rough for, for, for many years, many years. Yeah. Many I can years. imagine. I can imagine. I'm sorry about that. No, no, yeah. it's, I don't, I you don't have to, I, I'm not, it's part of the business. And I knew what I was signing up for. I, I, uh, like I said, I it, and to be honest, in the end of the day, now I have my own trans site, and it's like one of the top two or three in the world. So I've reaped the rewards from all of the nonsense that I had to put up with for so long. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, in the end, you you kind of won, didn't you? I did. I did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure all the, those guys are. You know. Still don't like me, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it is? I mean, you know, the the trans, um, I mean, trans porn has always, you know, done pretty well, I think, but it's even more so now. What do you think it is about, like, and it's usually straight men, right? That are t- supposedly straight, straight men. men. Gay guys that, don't like women. So what do you think the attraction is? Like, what is it about trans women that is so I think it's a taboo to... of it all. It's a taboo. Mm-hmm. I think it's, yeah. it's doing something that you're not supposed to do. It's, it's being with someone you're not supposed to be with. It's a, it's in a different experience. It's a, something that plausible deniability. No, I'm not gay. That's a woman, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Cause you know, guys are deathly afraid of being called gay. That's the, the biggest fear of straight men everywhere. It really is. It is, which is why there's so little guys that do trans porn because they're all, you need straight guys and straight guys are deathly afraid of being called gay. So it's tough to get anybody to do it. Do you think that's changing? No, I think they're just getting gay, gay performers that want the money. Mm. Interesting. Um, It's, I mean, it's, I mean, sure it's changing because Xander did a scene for Brazzers. Yeah. But I mean, that's just one person. And, and so, uh, I think the trans girls are getting to be more, um, involved in straight porn. Mm -hmm. And so I think if, as you befriend these girls, because they're girls, I think that helps the Aubrey Mm -hmm. Cates, the Daisy Taylors, the Emma Roses, the Natalie Mars. These are girls that, that, uh, uh, that move in straight porn circles and it makes it harder to be like, Oh, this person's dangerous to my health. Well, wait a second. That's your friend. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. 